company called Alton's Labs, which was founded by a group of tech billionaires, or rather funded by a group of tech billionaires like Yuri Milner and Jeff Bezos uh, and others. They attracted a huge number of very uh, prominent aging researchers from top universities. And, and the, the way they did that was they said, look, we'll give you a, a, a huge salary by academic standards and, and lots of resources and you don't have to write for grants, you can just focus on your work. Now, of course, these are tech, tech billionaires. They're used to a short life, short time scale. Uh, you know, in, in digital tech, things work in months and, or, or a year and then, you know, you're off to the races. But it, it's not... It's not going to be that way in experimental biology, and I think they're underestimating the time scale uh, that, that it will take for these things to actually be of, of clinical benefit. But the professors feel, well, okay, even if we get five or ten years of uh, you know, well-funded research, that's fine. At the end, you know, they could just go back to their university, or many of them could just retire. You know, so so I, I don't blame them. And as far as Rick Klausner, when he opened the Cambridge branch of Altos, uh, at which I was. Uh, he said, our goal is not for people to live longer, but we want everybody to die young after a long time. And what, what this means is he wants you to stay young and then suddenly keel over and die. Well, my point is, if you're young, if everything's working, why would you suddenly die? This idea of compressing uh, the period of morbidity is it's called compression of morbidity. So you're compressing the years of poor health into a very short period. So you live extremely healthy, but then you suddenly decline and die. That compression of morbidity has never been established in a general population. The only group that seems to have it are people who live over 110. Those people do live extremely healthy lives and suddenly decline and die, which means that they're probably hitting the limits of our lifespan. Uh, but for most people, when lifespan has increased, it's also increased the period of morbidity. And in fact, that's why in most societies, the population in nursing homes and care homes uh, has exploded over the last uh, couple of decades because people are living very long but need assistance, need help. So I'm not sure that compression of morbidity uh, is actually possible, it may be possible, but it's not certainly not an established fact.